Have you ever felt like you're making great progress with your fitness goals only to be derailed by a setback, whether it's a kid's party, maybe you get an injury, or you go on a vacation? Now, setbacks are a natural part of this journey, but the good news is that there are ways to deal with them and stay on track. So in today's video, I'm gonna share some practical tips and strategies for dealing with setbacks, including how to handle kids' parties, going overboard on the sweets, how to stay on track with your progress, and how to deal with injuries. So if you felt like you've had a setback and it's holding you back, don't worry, I've got you covered. All right, setback number one, and I'm a creature for this. I mean, my kid just turned four, my other kid just turned six, and where were we? We're at some type of like kids jumping thing, and at the kids jumping thing, unfortunately, you can't bring your own food, but what do I get? I get pizza, I get cake. Right Now here's the thing about when you go to these kids' parties, maybe you're not going to kids' parties anymore, maybe you're going to friends' parties, okay? Let's just take kids for friends, okay? Friends get together on Fridays, they have the charcuterie boards, they have the glass of wine, et cetera, et cetera, popcorn. So swap out kids' parties for adult parties. Now here's the thing, you can have a piece, you just can't have the entire pie, right? Get the slice that you feel is appropriate for where you're at, doesn't matter if you've been running around and you're starving. By this time, you know better than that. You've weighed your food before, and so you know how many calories, how many grams of sugar in that piece of pie, or cake, or whatever it is, so you can have a piece, but don't eat the entire pie. It's not yours, it's not there for, to be shared. Now, if you can, try and track everything. So if you have a slice of pizza, punch it into your MyFitnessPal or your tracking device prior to you eating it, and even if you're eyeballing it. So if, it's, if you're having you know, Sorrento's pizza, but they end up having some kind of homemade pizza, and then you type into your tracker, uh, one large pepperoni Sorrento's pizza, and that's what pops up Sorrento's, but it's a different one. Who cares? As long as it's verified, then that means that that has been weighed out, and you could look at it like, yeah, that's about a large slice of pizza. So track your food, eyeball it, put it into your tracker, then eat it, okay? Because you're gonna know if you're overeating, okay? If you're overeating calories, carbs, whatever your goals are. So track it, even if you're just eyeballing. And then when you're at this party, be active, right? Get around, go clean up, go you know, mingle with parents, get in the play structures with them. If you're at your friend's house, go walk over to the other side of the room, go talk to somebody. Don't just sit at the table and just talk and eat and talk and eat and talk and eat. Move your body, get up, move around, start cleaning up. The second one is injuries, and I gotta tell you this right now, that there's always something that can be done. I've had people in here with crutches, I've had people in here with wrist braces, I've had people in here with knee braces where they can't even use the leg, and we still got them a good workout. There's always something that can be done, and if you look at any type of injury rehab, it all involves some type of movement. So even if you weren't able to bend your arms, the first thing you're gonna do, they're gonna try and bend your arm as far as you can go. Then they're gonna move it back. Then they're gonna bend the arm, right? And eventually they want you getting bending into that full arm. So there's no reason why if you have an other functional body parts that you can't move it, which is gonna stimulate blood flow, which is gonna stimulate he healing, okay? So the, when you come into the gym, Change your mindset from I'm injured and I can't. I want you to try and then I want you to modify. And the last but not least is your vacations or summer, right? July, August and the month of December. So we gotta understand that it's tradition, right? Like me personally, when it comes to summer or when it comes to like December, unless I got a trip booked right after that or you know, there's something going on like a photo shoot in the summer, nine out of 10 times, I'm enjoying my summer. I'm gonna have ice cream every day. Yes, I eat ice cream almost every single day, but I'm still tracking. But what I do is I work my ass off in the winter, right? So you got January, February, March, April, May. If you're from Winnipeg, June is still winter, right? So we got six months to train for two months, okay? You can go hard in those six months. Like stop just randomly going out and eating a bunch of crap that you don't need with your friends for no reason. Right, I get it, you wanna to get together, but be creative, find something else to do, right? In the winter, focus on getting as trim as you possibly can. This way, when you start summer in June, July, you're already ahead of the game. So if normally you start summer at 150, but yet you drop yourself down to 137 over the, over the winter, now you have that flexibility gap because realistically, most people gain about 10 pounds over summer. So if you go from 137 to 147, boom, you're still three pounds winning. Then you got September, October, November to shred back down to that 137. Then you got December, another 10 pounds, right? That's kind of what history shows. 
Then January, boom, you lose another 10 pounds and the curve is always going down. It's just a repeat process, okay? I've been doing this long enough. I've seen the cycles, just accept that. But you have to accept that winter is the time to grind, okay? So have realistic expectations for the summer. Enjoy what you're eating, but track it. Now, what I wanna do is issue you an overcoming setbacks challenge, okay? So identify one setback that's gonna derail you from your fitness program. Do you have a busy work schedule? Maybe you potentially have an injury or you have a social event that's coming up. I want you to plan for it ahead of time using one of the strategies that I've already given you and then just keep me updated of how it goes. Because you gotta remember, things are gonna come up. One bite doesn't have to turn into one plate which turns into one bad day which turns into one week. Identify your problem fix it immediately, and move on. And remember, you may not be where you wanna be, but as long as you're getting there, you're getting 1% better every single day, you're getting one step closer, baby. You got this, let's go. And Jerome, say it with me, woo!